You know, all of us are thinking that with all of this focus on observers and the reliance on observers' statements, whether it's the missions or the individuals, what we who are watching this process day in and day out, our hope is that that everything that is being done behind the scenes, under the scenes, throughout the day, before the day, after the day, that all of that is taken into consideration. Is it? Can you in fact do that? We try, but uh, there are limits to what we can do. We do try to get all the relevant information, meaning not only information from the observers on election day, the uh, fundamental component of uh, observation from our, of our office is the long-term component. Our observers have been in this country now for more than six weeks. They have uh, talked to all the stakeholders. They have uh, collected systematically all the information. This is still not as good as those who live and work in this country, but it's as, as good as we can do it. Uh, we're trying our best and we hope we will be able tomorrow to provide an honest and objective assessment. You've headed ODIR now for four years? Almost. And you've watched I don't know how many elections. Do you have the sense that in some places at least the effect of observers is a positive impact on the process and not simply people on the ground playing to the observers to make sure that the appearance is good? I think it depends on the way observers go about their duties. We try to enforce consistently the code of conduct for international observers, of OEC international observers, which means that uh, observers are uh, under clear rules about how they go about their work and how they report about their work. And I think that uh, our methodology has been proven over all these years. It has withstood the, uh, the test of time. And we have been, in my, at least in my almost four years uh, with the office, I think we have been able uh, to provide consistently um, objective assessments. And I hope we will be able to do that also uh, about election day uh, in Armenia, about the election process in Armenia, including the, its long-term aspects, and this will be done tomorrow, the day after the election, at the press conference. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to it. You're welcome.